What comes to mind when you think about African history? Is it a rich tapestry of empires, kingdoms, and civilizations? Or a blank slate? These are thought-provoking questions that challenge the general perception of African history. Africa's history is not a barren canvas but a vibrant palette filled with untold stories of great empires. These empires, characterized by their richness and complexity, have shaped the continent's destiny and influenced the broader world. Today, we will embark on a journey through time to uncover the stories of some of the great African empires. Our journey begins with the Great Empire of Ancient Egypt. A civilization that arose around 3100 BC on the fertile banks of the Nile River. Its power and influence spanned 3,000 years, making it one of the longest-lived empires in human history. The ancient Egyptians are renowned for their monumental architecture, from the colossal pyramids to the imposing sphinx and the grand temples that grace the Nile Valley. These structures still stand today as testament to their ingenuity, architectural prowess and their deep reverence for the divine. The pharaohs considered as gods on earth ruled with an iron scepter and divine decree. Notable among them were pharaohs like Ramses II, whose reign was marked by remarkable military campaigns, and Queen Hatshepsut, one of the most successful female rulers of all time. Ancient Egypt was not only a cradle of civilization, but also a hub of knowledge and innovation. They made significant advancements in various fields such as mathematics, medicine, and astronomy. The intricate hieroglyphic script, one of the world's earliest writing systems, was a product of their intellectual endeavors. Their religious beliefs and practices, their art, and their concept of the afterlife have left an indelible mark on various cultures and societies across the globe. Ancient Egypt's influence resonates even today, in our language, culture and even our modern-day systems of governance. The ancient Egyptian empire with its rich culture and monumental architecture, laid a strong foundation for African civilization. Moving east, we encounter the powerful Aksum Empire. Nestled in the highlands of modern-day Ethiopia and Eritrea, the Aksum Empire was a formidable force from the 1st to the 8th centuries AD. Its strategic location near the Red Sea made it a vital hub for trade, linking the Roman Empire and India, and later, the Byzantine Empire and the Arabian Peninsula. The Aksumites were savvy merchants, dealing in goods such as ivory, gold and exotic animals, and even minting their own currency, a clear indicator of their economic prowess. But trade was not their only forte. The Aksum Empire also made significant strides in architecture, with towering obelisks and intricate stone carvings that still stand today as silent witnesses of their architectural genius. Additionally, Aksum was one of the first empires in the world to adopt Christianity as a state religion, making it a significant early center of the faith. This brought about a rich cultural fusion, intertwining local customs with Christian traditions, and creating a unique societal fabric that is still evident in the region today. But perhaps the most enduring legacy of the Aksum Empire is its influence on regional politics. The Aksumites exerted control over the Arabian Peninsula, asserting their power and shaping the geopolitical dynamics of the region. The Aksum Empire, a beacon of trade and culture, stands as a testament to Africa's vibrant past. Traveling west, we find ourselves in the heart of the Mali Empire. This magnificent empire which thrived from the 13th to the 16th century, was a beacon of wealth and knowledge that stretched across vast swaths of West Africa. The rise of the Mali Empire can be traced back to Sundiata Keita, a visionary leader who unified the Malinke tribes into a formidable kingdom. Under Keita's rule the empire expanded rapidly, absorbing neighboring states and growing in wealth and power. The empire was rich in resources, especially gold and salt, which were in high demand across Africa and beyond. But no discussion of the Mali Empire would be complete without mentioning the legendary Mansa Musa. Ascending to the throne in the early 14th century, Mansa Musa is often regarded as one of the wealthiest individuals in human history. His famed pilgrimage to Mecca in 1324 not only showcased his immense wealth, but also put the Mali Empire on the map of the known world. The tales of his lavish spending and the entourage of thousands that accompanied him still echo in the annals of history. Under Mansa Musa's rule, the Mali Empire became an epicenter of learning and culture. The city of Timbuktu in particular, was a renowned hub of Islamic scholarship, attracting scholars and students from across the Islamic world. The libraries and universities of Timbuktu housed hundreds of thousands of manuscripts, covering a wide range of subjects from theology to astronomy, medicine to history, and much more. 
However, like all great empires, the Mali Empire eventually fell into decline. Internal strife, coupled with the pressure from encroaching neighboring states, led to its eventual downfall in the late 16th century. Yet, even in its decline, the Mali Empire left an indelible mark on African history. The Mali Empire, once a hub of wealth and knowledge, played a pivotal role in shaping West Africa's history. Its legacy continues to inspire, reminding us of Africa's rich past and the potential for its promising future. Our journey concludes in the South with the Zulu Kingdom. This is an entity that emerged in the early 19th century under the leadership of the charismatic and strategic King Shaka. The Zulu Kingdom was a force to be reckoned with, its military prowess unmatched in the region. Shaka revolutionized warfare, introducing the short stabbing spear known as the Ikluwa and the cowhide shield, creating an effective fighting unit known as the Impi. The Zulu Kingdom was more than just a military force however, it was a complex society with a rich cultural tapestry woven from the threads of tradition, customs and values. Its impact can be felt across Southern Africa, in the languages, rituals and traditions that persist to this day. The Zulu's influence wasn't confined to the cultural realm. It had a profound effect on the political and social landscape of Southern Africa. The Zulu Kingdom stood as a bulwark against the tide of European colonialism, fiercely defending its sovereignty. Its eventual fall to the British in the late 19th century marked a significant turning point in the history of Southern Africa. Despite its ultimate defeat, the Zulu Kingdom's legacy endures. Its story is a testament to the resilience, courage, and creativity of its people. Its influence continues to shape the cultural identity of Southern Africa, serving as a potent reminder of a proud and vibrant past. The Zulu Kingdom, with its indomitable spirit and cultural richness, has left an indelible mark on Africa's historical landscape. From the pyramids of Egypt to the trade routes of Aksum, from the gold-laden Mali Empire to the warrior kingdom of the Zulus, Africa's history is truly a treasure trove of untold stories. We've embarked on an enlightening journey, unraveling the rich tapestries of African history. We began with the great empire of ancient Egypt, a civilization that stood as a beacon of knowledge and innovation. Today, their grand pyramids still stand, silent witnesses to their unrivaled architectural prowess. We then moved to the Aksum Empire, a powerhouse of trade and commerce in ancient times. Nestled in the heart of Ethiopia, Aksum was once a bustling hub of activity, connecting Africa, Asia, and the Mediterranean through its intricate trade routes. The kingdom's obelisks, intricately carved from single pieces of stone, are enduring symbols of their sophisticated society. Our journey then took us to the Mali Empire, an empire literally gleaming with gold. Under the illustrious reign of Mansa Musa, the empire's wealth was legendary, so much so that it said his pilgrimage to Mecca disrupted the gold market in the Middle East for a decade. Mali was not just wealthy, it was also a center of learning and culture with the University of Timbuktu attracting scholars from far and wide. Lastly, we explored the Zulu Kingdom, a warrior empire that rose to prominence under the leadership of the formidable Shaka Zulu. The Zulus were not just fierce warriors, they were also astute statesmen who forged alliances and built a kingdom that left an indelible mark on Southern Africa's history. Each of these empires, in their own unique way, contributed to the rich mosaic that is Africa's history. They are testament to the resilience, diversity, and richness of the African continent. Their stories are a reminder that Africa's history is not a footnote, but a vibrant chapter in the annals of human civilization. Africa's history characterized by the rise and fall of great empires is a testament to the continent's resilience, diversity, and richness. It's a history that deserves to be told, explored, and celebrated.